Omnath, Locus of the Royal, versus Glissa the Traitor. We're keeping this, we've got plenty of mana. And we're going to end up dumping our hand onto the board, but hopefully we can get enough mana going. Where we can get some card draw going at the same time with Omnath. Alright, Right of Replication, that is really in here for the, uh, for the Risen Reef. Let's just get down a tap line. We can go for Search for Azkanta and get some card filtering going next turn. Say turn one Skull Clamp for Glissa. Glissa the Traitor is three mana in Golgari for a 3-3 with First Strike and Death Touch. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you may return a target artifact from graveyard to hand. Now that can get us into an elemental even quicker, can't it? And that can get us into Scampering Scorcher. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. And then we can go for Scampering Scorcher next turn, and that is create two elemental tokens when it enters, and they gain haste. And the more elementals we have in play, the better, because Omnath will throw damage around equal to the number of elementals we control when he enters. And whenever a land enters under our control, we can put a plus counter on an elemental we control, and if we have eight or more lands, we draw a card. 3-3 three, three for four mana in Tima. My Sword of Feast and Famine, yeah, they've got one hell of a hand on them. Omnath Locus of Rage would be really good to ramp up to. So let's just play out the Windswept Heath. And we'll get down the Scampering Scorcher, just to get our elemental count up. And then we will swing in for three at our opponent. And then we'll just get down a tap land during our opponent's turn. Should wait for the end step, really. But I'm being lazy. Alright, just deciding to pass the turn. That's good. Uh, we have some card draw there. Now, can we get into... Oh, we could go for Crucible of Worlds first, couldn't we? Yeah, so let's go for the Crucible of Worlds. We'll make a land, and then we can evoke the Muldrifter. And we will have to sacrifice the Muldrifter once it gets evoked, but we will draw two cards when it enters. Alright, getting into more ramp, that is good. And we have red in place, so the Sword of Feast and Famine isn't as scary as it is in most games. Okay, they've got a Grave Pack now. They actually need double green to get their Glissa down. And what they'd like to do is get down Glissa and equip it up with the sword immediately so we can't point an Omnath at it. Let's get down another land. Good job we got into the Crucible of Worlds because we're not drawing into those. And why not go for Omnath Locus of Rage? That would be really good with all this land ramp that we've got in our hand. Now we just have to hope that our opponent doesn't wipe the board. We'll swing in with our elementals again. And then hopefully we can make landfall a couple of times next turn with the windswept heath. Omnath Locus of Rage throws out red and green elemental tokens. They are 5-5s, five but Sword of Feast and Famine will give protection from those. I'm thinking we're going to be able to go wide. There is that forest. Hopefully it's too late for our opponent. And Acidic Slime, probably going after the Crucible of Worlds. That's okay, we can still get a couple of lands into play off of Kodama's Reach or Cultivate. And then that does have protection from green and black now. Okay, Waterlogged Grove, finally getting into a land. Unfortunately, we're nowhere near Rite of Replication. Going on to the Scampering Scorchers. We can go Chromatic Lantern into Cultivate. And that will ramp us somewhat, so let's go in for that. We'll get a couple of extra mana doing this. Grab an island and a forest. Uh, we can go for the Snow-Covered Forest intact. That will trigger Omnath. And then we'll get down the snow-covered island, because they know about that. And then there's no elementals for us to play, so let's just leave these creatures back, because 
the acidic slime has protection from green, so if we go in with angry omnath, they'll just chump block it and it'll die to death touch. But the acidic slime will remain because omnath can't deal damage to this. And we can just chump with the elemental tokens. We do have nine mana next turn. So we could go for Rite of Replication onto the Acidic Slime and blow up all of our opponent's stuff. Ugh, there's a Vampiric Tutor on the upkeep. Now, if our opponent's plan is to wipe the board, at least it gets rid of our opponent's creature, but we would like the creatures to remain in play for obvious reasons, plus we'd like to go for Rite of Replication onto the Acidic Slime. Now, if our opponent does wipe the board, how many lightning bolts are we going to get? That's two, four, six, and seven. That's seven times three is 21. Yeah, this thing lightning bolts whenever an elemental dies. So we're actually going to kill our opponent if they wipe the board. Uh, there's a toxic deluge for one. That will be one, two, three, four lightning bolts which is 12 damage. We'll just point all of them at our opponent's head because Omnath can't lightning bolt that acidic slime. Taking our opponent down to three. And the acidic slime comes in, we cannot block here. So we'll just be discarding the Gruel Signet, I imagine. And our opponent sees that there's no way out there. They've only got one card in hand. They can't remove any of our elementals, otherwise they will be lightning bolted. And what were we drawing into next turn? A metallic mimic just makes our elementals stronger. Uh, our plan there was to drop the waterlogged grove, and then go for Rite of Replication onto the Acidic Slime, which we can target with a blue spell. And that allows us to destroy an artifact, enchantment or land. We would have gone after the sword, the clamp, the grave pact, the Ancient Tomb and the Bayou, I think, because we would have gotten five copies of the slime. And from that point on, it's probably just a case of going wide on our opponent for the win. Pretty sketchy start, but luckily we managed to cobble together a victory there. Didn't see any of Omnath Locus of the Royal, but we did see some good elemental tribal action. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. I'm Tribal Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching.